Hey, this is Oz Toys, and um, I'm here to review the foam dart gun. Uh, this is also known as the uh, 1911 um, foam dart gun. I purchased this from Morissette Markets in New South Wales, Australia, on the Central Coast, for 10 Australian dollars. So let's open it up and uh, have a look. It uh, comes with six darts and the gun itself. Uh, the darts, in comparison to Nerf darts, are uh, not very well made. Um, as you can see, they're a lot thinner and the glue is uh, a lot more prominent on these ones. However, they do actually fly and work quite well. So that's not a problem. Uh, this is the gun itself. It's fairly self-explanatory. Uh, it does indeed have a red tip at the end. However, I would um, strongly advise against using this particular model out in public due to its realistic appearance. A few cool little features of this gun are uh, the magazine holder. It can come out. Uh, thus creating two pegs to store some ammo which fits nicely back inside there now the operation of this gun is quite simple you uh, load it with a dart cock back the primer and fire it The ranges on this thing aren't exactly great, um, but they're not poor either by any stretch. Um, I'd assume that by dismantling the gun and removing the air restrictors you could get um, a fair amount more range. I have yet to open this one, I'd like to probably go and purchase another before I uh, open it up and possibly wreck it. First I'll start with the stock darts that, that it comes with, uh, so yeah, this is how they go. I guess uh, you could say it was a fair amount of force, I wouldn't say that it would go more than uh, 5 or 6 metres stock. Uh, next I'll use a uh, standard Nerf micro suction dart. These fit in the barrel a little less well than the stock darts, I feel as though because they're longer. It felt as though that had a little less force when leaving the barrel. Finally, I will uh, test via a streamline. Once again, this does not fit as well as the stock darts. Although that had more power leaving the chamber, I felt as though it was not as accurate as the other two darts. It kind of spiraled and fishtailed toward the end. So there you have it. This is a, uh, a quite a nice little dart gun. And if you get a chance to pick one up, I highly suggest doing so.